The movie is Monster Brawl. This movie is an action. It's a horror, but it's a horror comedy, so horror comedy. And it's a wrestling movie. It hasn't got The Undertaker in, because he's smart, but yeah, it's a wrestling movie too. The year, 2011. This movie is on for one hour and 25 minutes. Written and directed by Jess Thomas Cook. Starring Dave Foley, Art Hindle, Robert Mallet, with Big Sexy Diesel, Kevin Nash, Big Shredder. And the very own, the mouth of the south, Jimmy Hart. Age written for this movie is an 18. Tagline is, it's the fight of the living dead. Budget for this movie, 200,000 Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars, that's right, 200,000. So here's a little bit about the movie. It's a dream pay-per-view. Eight of the greatest monsters of all time come face to face in a wrestling tournament in the middle of a graveyard. Where else would it take place? The rules are simple. They are no rules. No holes barred. The last monster alive is the winner. The contenders are Frankenstein, physical strength 100, knockout ability 87, evilness 77, special moves 33. The legendary undead giant is resurrected once more to awaken the lumber, his way to victory and reclaim the monster throne. Which bitch? What the name? Which bitch? Physical strength 53, knockout ability 89, evilness 94, special moves 58. Which bitch is the ungodly outcast from a small English town uh, recruited to the tournament by Munster manager The Groot? Cyclops. Physical strength 64. Knockout ability 23. Evilness 89. Special moves 99. Special moves for Cyclops 99. What's that about? The ancient one eyed creature from the Spartan trained expert, the blacksmith uh, Cyclops, recruitedly enrolls in the tournament to avenge the old age bargain of Hades. These art cards came with the DVD, how awesome is that? Swamp Gut! Obviously Swamp Thing in some form. Physical Strength 88, Knockout Ability 83, Evilness 74, Special Moves 86. Swamp Overlord, Obese Bog Dweller. <laughs> Little known about this disgusting carnivorous creature. Zombie Man! Physical Strength 99, Knockout Ability 54, Evilness 95, Special Moves 65. He's basically a zombie. Werewolf! Physical strength 98, knockout ability 47, evilness 100, special moves 84. Werewolf was once a man who willingly transformed himself into a monster in order to enter the tournament. Lady Vampire! Physical strength 87, knockout ability 93, evilness 99, special moves 65. If that was 69 there, I would have fucking generally pissed myself. Blood sucking immortal seductionist and a formidable killer trained in various forms of combat dating back to the Middle Ages. And last but not least, the Mummy! Mummy Man! Physical Strength 90, not by Ability 87, Evilness 32, Special Moves 14. Poor Mummy Man! Once a powerful pharaoh from the ancient Egyptian, he has escaped from a condemned warehouse to enter the tournament. After all that, let the battle begin. So here's my review of this movie. The box and art cards for this movie is so impressive. They're all high quality and this makes you think you're actually in for something really interesting here. But the moment it starts, you kind of know what you're in for here, and you just go, uh-oh. This movie is set up like a WWE pay-per-view. The way it's packaged, edited, and paced, it's like watching a WWE pay-per-view. It does more look like the WCW Hall Halloween Havoc pay-per-view, though, the way it's all set up. The outline is simple. Intro, pay-per-view style. Commentators, pre-match package, match. Commentators, another package, match. Over, and over, and over, and over and all that, and all that. Don't need to do any jump cut in there because that's what this does, it just repeats itself. This movie is really split into four different parts. You almost expect adverts in it. The makeup effects are not too bad, but the acting, whoa, don't get me started on the acting. Right, well, since it's a review, get me started on the acting. The commentators who are meant to carry this entire movie completely fail straight away. You're like, oh my God. The movie has wrestling legends, Kevin Nash and Jimmy Hart, they should have been cast as the commentators. Jimmy Hart does the best he's got with what he's got to give, shouting down his microphone like that. Rah! Fall back to the old 70s and 80s promos he used to do with the Nasty Boys, Hulk Hogan. Kevin Nash, though, just seems to be taking a paycheck. I'm sorry, Big Sexy, but you come on. As I said, they should have been cast as the commentators. At least they know what they were going to be talking about rather than just being wasted. As for the wrestling, oh my God. They could have done this two ways. They could have went over the top, crazy views, crazy angles, Brutal moves. They could have looked at Def Jam Vendetta from back in the day and go, ooh, that's a horrible move, especially for a wrestler. Slash monster. They could have really catered moves to the actual, like, flying vampires, swamp guts, you know, trees, strength, power moves. They could have tried all that. Instead, they went for slow, 
random, basic 80s style wrestling. And this really hurt the movie. You could have looked at this movie, any wrestling fan could have looked at this movie and went, this is hilarious because it could have just went where it should have gone OTT, capitalizing on these creatures. But once the wrestling started, you're like, oh my God. Once one match finished, another match started after a promo and it's just like, oh, come on, hurry up, man. And the tournament doesn't make any sense anyway. There's eight competitors, right? And they seem to miss one match out of it. I know they're tiptoeing around the copyright content, different names, that's why there's not a Dracula in it, that kind of stuff. It was almost like a reimagination of Monster Squad in the wrestling ring. Now, I don't have Monster Squad because I, I give it to Killian Gore to go, hey, Monster Squad, remember that? Gone. But yeah, it was just such a letdown. You know what I mean? I was expecting like crazy monster randomness and I didn't. So watch this, no. Own it, no. It has been packaged with an awesome box. WWE should really take content of that. Nice slip boxes and some art cards. You should start that off. The big wrestlers, you know, that could be a new collection, but they're more interested in the network. I am, however, going to give this two concert bricks, one, two out of five, mainly because it did kill a bit of boredom and I found it more funny than anything. Wrestling fans, give it a watch, okay? But if you're not a wrestling fan, if you're a Monster fan, maybe I don't know. It's a guilty pleasure, maybe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I can really feel the circulation going in my neck. I'm a bit... Okay, it's well over a year since I did the Fast Forward review for Monster Brawl. Where have I sponsor? Monster, Monster Brawl. Um... All the tape was hanging from the ceiling because it was the promo stuff I used to fast forward reviews. And there was no outtakes, there's one outtake of me uh, feeling a bit like circulation, distraction, circulation, fixation. And um, I put that as an outtake, it was originally in the cut. And I was like, right, I'll do a quick outtake now with a movie I've been telling people about for ages and I went to find it. And I can't find it anywhere. Now it's called Magoover, MacGyver, Magiga. And it's a comedy and it's got Chris Jarrett in, it's got Kane in, it's got MB3, it's got um, Mark Henry. And it's a really, really funny um, movie. And I don't know where it is. There it is there! <laughs> I just looked there, there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't believe that, I've been searching for ages. Um, yeah, Mark, it's got the great Carly in it as well. Um, Val Kilmer's in it, so if you've never seen that, it's really stupid, really funny, really crude and funny. But if you want to see this lead actor here, which is William Forty, uh, have a uh, verbal, uh, verbal, verbal, see I'm not cutting here, verbal conversation with Chris Jericho, it's hilarious. See No Evil as well, it's a really good horror film with Kane in, I haven't dug them out, they will be somewhere around there horror movies but yeah these are the ones I have picked out first out blood out um, Bobby Lashley's in this um, fuck my life not only does he like decide to get in with the crew and go and get um, his entire body tattooed overnight which no sits there and just like two people working on him full time to get into this crew um, there's a bit where he's on top of the car and it's just, it's really weird how it's filmed. And it almost looks like he jumps off from the roof of the car, stands, and throws the car, because he lands perfectly on his feet and throws the car. It's like, what the fuck? Vinnie Jones, Curtis, uh, 50 Cent is in this as well. But yeah, Bobby Lashley pops up in a bit of a fight scene, but yeah, avoid that one. Next up as well, the one I found up wrong side of town, as well as the scene of the reflection there, the chaperone, Triple H was, uh, Inside Out as well, two Triple H's movies before he took over as a CEO of WWE, did a little bit of acting. The Chaperone is quite a good film. Maybe it's not for Triple H, but no, he does it really well, as well as in that. He's better than he is in Blade 3. But you're wrong side of town, Dave Batista and Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam is the star of this movie, not Batista. Batista literally comes in halfway and takes over. Big Daddy V is in this as well. Ja Rule's in it. Nelson Fraser, I think, is uh, the late great um, Mabel. But yeah. Batista just turns up and just takes over. And last but not least, one movie that a lot of people have seen and it is terrifying. Um, it's called River of Darkness. Kurt Angle, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash and Psycho Sid Vicious. Um, one of the worst movies I've ever, ever seen. Um, the acting's bad, the creation's bad. It says awesomeness on the front. No, 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 no. Um, there's even a bit where this guy's getting stabbed. And it's just like cringe-worthy bad. 
so yeah just a little outtake as i said it's been a year since i've filmed that review it's going to be like i think the one i'm doing at the moment is february next year it's going to be a while but yeah definitely check out see no evil i've got that i've got them I've got see no evil on blu-ray and uh, the second one wasn't released on um um blu-ray like but picked up a lot of wrestling movies over the years um including is it still available of course it is probably the best suburban commando one of the best movies out this one does have the undertaker in hulk hogan this needs a blu-ray release so i'm steve mason thanks for watching goodbye